Okay, so now we're starting with the RD base project. My bitstream is complete, and so I can now export that to SDK by doing file export hardware. And I can launch the SDK also by doing file launch SDK. Now the SDK opens, and the first thing it does is import the hardware platform specification. Now I can start adding applications to my workspace. So let's say new application project. I'm going to call it Hello World. And I'm going to use the Hello World template. Now I've got my RD board plugged into my computer via USB. That USB cable gives us both the access to the UART and it also gives us a JTAG connection so I can program through that as well. Now, my PuTTY console I opened at 115K board, but uh, my design is going to run on 9600, so I'll just change that to 9600. You can see there's already an application running on the board when you turn it on because it boots up, I think, from QSPI Flash. Uh, so let's program the Arti with our bitstream to start. So now the bitstream is programmed and what I do is click on my Hello World application and press the play button. And I want to choose launch on hardware using the system debugger. Now when that runs I get my Hello World on my console so I know that ran properly. I'm going to create a new application project and this time it's going to be the Echo Server. And I'm going to choose the lightweight IP Echo Server template. Now, obviously, I have to connect my Arti now to an Ethernet device. I'm connecting it through to my router. So, obviously, the router is running DHCP. It will assign an IP address to the Arti board if everything works properly. So, now I click to run it. I click on Echo Server and I press the play button. This time, I'm going to go through run configurations and do it that way and double click on system debugger and then click run. I have to terminate the hello world application. So the application's running it auto, neg auto negotiated at 100 megabit per second. And I got an IP address of 192.168.2.15. So I'm going to ping that from a command prompt and I can see that my pings are coming back 